RSI Trading Strategy. By the time you finish this video, you'll know exactly the best RSI setting for your personal day trading strategy. As usual, we'll have plenty of practical examples. The idea is to fully understand this wonderful trading strategy and to make the most out of it. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. A very important point before we start. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets, so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. An RSI trading strategy using the relative strength indicator is a great place to start when day trading. It has default settings of 14 periods and 70-30 levels. How will the RSI setting change the indicator trading signals? The RSI setting will affect how frequently the RSI gives overbought and oversold signals as well as divergent signals to buy and sell. What does RSI 14 mean? The default RSI setting for the RSI indicator is 14 periods. That means the indicator is calculated using the last 14 candles or last 14 bars on the price chart. Using a shorter time frame, for example 5 periods will cause the RSI reach extreme values, or above 70 and below 30, more often. By the same token, longer time frame settings will see the RSI indicator reach above 70, or below 30 less frequently. This chart shows how to change the various settings. What is the best RSI setting for day trading? The developer of the RSI, J. Wells Wilder Jr. recommends using the 14-period RSI. But other RSI settings can also be good to trade depending on whether you are trading Forex, stocks, cryptocurrencies or other financial markets and the time frame you are trading off. Looking at this chart, you can compare a 14-day RSI versus 5-day RSI and versus 50-day RSI setting. It can be observed that the 14-period RSI gives several signals, the 5-period RSI is very frequently giving trading signals, and the 50-period RSI gives just one very good trading signal throughout the time period selected. In his book New Concepts in Technical Trading Systems, Wells Wilder only uses trading strategy examples with the 14-period RSI. Although other RSI settings are certainly possible and potentially profitable, since Wilder created the indicator, we should take time to note why he think his indicator is best set up with 14 periods. Firstly, 14 periods is like a fortnight or half a month. Although markets are not normally open 7 days per week, so 14 periods does not equal 2 weeks, this time frame has a certain basis in nature relating to the time it takes the moon to travel around planet Earth. These natural phenomenon like the Fibonacci sequence have a way of working in trading markets. In fact, Wilder says in his book that he tested multiple time periods and found 14 to be the most effective for his swing trading style using daily time frame charts. So his choice of technical indicator settings was based on real evidence from his day trading. What is a good RSI to buy? The way Wilder recommends using the RSI is by using the 30 and 70 levels in the oscillator as oversold and overbought levels respectively. This means that when RSI falls below 30, you aim to buy the financial security that has been sold too much, and when the RSI reaches over 70, you aim to sell the financial asset that has been bought too much. However these are not the only options. Is a high RSI good or bad? Some trend-following trading strategies use a high RSI level as a sign to keep buying. However, in this instance the RSI is not being used as a trigger to enter a trade, but as a guide on the direction of the trend. The way some successful day traders have found to increase the accuracy or buy and sell triggers from RSI is by changing the definition of oversold and overbought to the 20 and 80 levels, or indeed other levels. Of course, the price will get to these extremes less frequently than 30 and 70, thus in theory offering the most reliable trading signals. The main disadvantage to using 20 and 80 for RSI is that it means missing some potentially good trading opportunities. All trading platform conveniently allows you to set the overbought and oversold levels. 
This chart shows the way the settings affect the trading signals that would have been taken from the RSI indicator. The first RSI in yellow uses the 70 and 30 setting with a 14-day period, while the second chart uses the 80 and 20 setting for overbought and oversold on the same 14-day period time frame setting. Both RSI configurations capture buying opportunity. The 80 and 20 misses 6 buy signal and 1 sell signal. Within the downtrend, both trigger the a strong buy signal. Then, the 70 and 30 capture the next sell signal which precedes a nice downtrend, one weak buy signal, and one strong buy signal. How do you trade with RSI? The use of a divergence trading strategy is possible with multiple technical indicators, including MACD and stochastic. What is better MACD or RSI? Really neither one is better, but divergence only works on an underlying price chart. Divergence is when the direction of a technical indicator, usually an oscillator diverges from the direction of the price. In essence, the indicator starts moving in the opposite direction to the price. The change in direction of the indicator is taken by traders to mean that price movements might be about to follow in the same direction. The oscillator in this scenario is a leading indicator for the price. In this chart, the price continues to rise, but the RSI indicator starts to fall from an overbought position. This is known as bearish divergence. After the price falls following the indicator signal the indicator starts to point higher in what is called bullish divergence. Note, bearish divergences should normally happen at the end of an uptrend, while bullish divergences happen at the end of a downtrend. The divergence should ideally take place from an overbought or oversold level on the relative strength index. Wilder advocated RSI indicator trading strategies complementing the use of oversold and overbought levels with the concept of divergence. The choice of indicator settings is best found through experience by each individual trader. Try different settings to see which work for your trading strategy or trading system. Here is one example of an RSI trading strategy to consider as a guideline for how to go about developing your own trading system. 2 Period RSI Trading Strategy This RSI trading strategy was developed by Larry Connors, and the idea is to find periods when the short-term trend is deeply oversold within an overall price uptrend, or when the short-term trend is hugely overbought in an overall downtrend. Because it is intended for entry point within a trend, Connors uses a much more sensitive lower time frame 2 periods on the RSI. Because 2 is such a short time frame, Connors attempts to filter out the false signals by using the 90 and 10 levels instead of the 70 and 30 levels for overbought and oversold. In essence this is a trading method to buy the dip and sell the rip. Here are the steps to using this RSI strategy. First. Plot a 200 period simple moving average or SMA to determine the overall price trend. Second, add the RSI indicator and change the settings to two periods. Third, adjust the levels for overbought and oversold to 90 and 10. RSI by signal. When price above 200 SMA and two period RSI below 10. RSI sell signal. When price below 200 SMA and 2 period RSI above 90. This chart shows a picturesque bull market in the Amazon stock. Connor's RSI trading strategy only has 2 false signal and 6 strong signals. This should be simple enough. Or, in this video, I've included a template with the system that you can simply upload to your chart and it will automatically plot all these indicators perfectly on your charts so there's nothing for you to worry about. Get the download link on the description. Here are other examples of two period RSI trading to fully understand this wonderful strategy and to make the most out of it.
Of course, in different trading environments the trading system will perform differently. Conclusion. Is RSI a good indicator? The RSI is one of the most popular indicators for Forex traders, cryptocurrency traders, stock traders and futures traders. But it is not the indicator itself that makes users of the RSI successful in trading. Traders must spend the time to backtest an RSI trading strategy to make sure it has worked in the past, and then test that strategy in a live trading environment, with good trading discipline, to have the best chance for a profitable trading strategy that works in the future. As always, if you learn something new, or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell and leave us a like to show your support. See you next time.